busy week in Alberta these days politically. Yeah, absolutely. The legislature's back in. So, of course, there was a throne speech on Thursday, and, and that set things off. And then the government brought in its uh, first piece of legislation, which is to eliminate all sorts of school fees, including fees for riding the bus to school. Hmm. Um, of course, if they eliminate a school fee, they, that money has to be made up for somewhere else. This feels a lot like Kathleen Wynne's shuffling game she did with Ontario Hydro, saying, I'll lower, <coughs> I'll lower your power prices, but I'll raise your taxes. Is that basically what's going to happen with these school fees? I, you know what? I think what's going to happen is you're just going to uh, borrow a whole lot more money. And this is, this is already the most uh, heavily borrowing uh, provincial government, and, and they will continue uh, the, their heavily borrowing ways uh, for time immemorial. So long as they're in power, this is going to continue. Uh, they simply don't have enough money. But one thing that happened uh, this week uh, in the throne speech uh, was that they mentioned that, you know, oh, in the bad old days, our deficits are not our fault. In the bad old days under the Tories, they used to increase spending by as much as 11% a year. Now, I used to watch those sessions uh, when the Tories were there. I used to complain about how much money the Tories were spending. I used to say it was unsustainable. But I never once heard a New Democrat say that. They would always say, this isn't enough. <laughs> the 11% isn't enough. We're still going to have horrible uh, destruction of our of our public education and, and horrible wait times and, and, and awful reduction in our public health care. And, and so they were always demanding more. And now that they're uh, and now that they're up against the wall and they're in government, they're blaming the Tories for having been such spendthrifts.